Next up, in your template design process, I'm going to go and select the layers option. Our layers will be applicable to single carriageways. If you've got a dual carriageway option, our layers would then also be applicable. Going to my layer description, I'm going to go and right click and go and select TRH4 pavements. This is built into Civil Designer by default. You would go and select your pavement type, road category, and traffic class. If you're not sure of the traffic class, you can go and put in the relevant information and Civil Designer will go and calculate your traffic class for you. Click on the appropriate pavement design. And here you would go and specify your pavement depths. Look at PLC, which are point location codes. In older versions of Civil Designer, you had PLCs negative one, which would represent, for instance, the left road edge. You can still use those codes, but we've made it easier by putting it in a descriptive name. Anything on the left hand side would be represented by a negative and anything on the right hand side would then be a positive. You're also able to give your pavements a step. And then you take that information and copy it and paste it on the right hand side. 